Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'll show you how you can um, export um, uh, Landsat data to your Google Drive. Um, so we'll do the, a couple of things. The first thing is to import a, a data, a Landsat data from the Earth Engine Data Archive and then export it to your Google Drive. Let's get started. So first thing is export image. So that will be our our task here. And then we will start by loading the Landsat data. So load Landsat image and select three points. Okay. I'll load the Landsat data. Landsat 8 actually because I'm loading the Landsat 8 image. Um, so um, I'll cast image and then enter the image ID. That's Landsat. It's uh, LC8 because I'm using a Landsat 8 data. And collection one and tier one. Top of atmospheric reflectance and the image ID again LC08. I'll just have to write the exact image ID as is showing in the Earth Engine Library 170108. And then I'll select three bands because I have multiple bands. I don't necessarily need to, you know, download all of these. So I'll just select only three bands. Select, and then I'll list the bands that I'm interested to download. Band three and band four, and the last band that I'm interested in is band two. I'll actually need to change the caps here, again here, okay. So this looks good. And the next step is uh, to create a um, region of interest because this is a large data set and sometimes it's a global data set or even, even if it's a single scene, you want to like subset uh, so that you're not... Um, uh, consuming a large uh, storage space in your machine. So the next thing is to create um, to create a, a region so that I can use to um, you know subset my data. So I'll call a region variable and I'll just create a random point um, geometry. Okay, and then rectangle. Actually, I'll create a rectangle instead of um, a point. Okay, and then I'll provide the lot long, I mean, coordinated information for that uh, for that uh, uh, rectangle that I'm creating. Okay, I already know this beforehand. So, if you're interested to change the the, the rectangle, you need to go 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 to Google Earth and then just find the the coordinates uh, for the four corners of that recta rectangle. That's what you need to do if you want to change this to a different location easily. And the last coordinate information is this. Okay, so this will import a Landsat data and creates a, a rectangle so that we can use that to export our data. I'll execute this. We have some here. And, oh, we have some caps, you know, so let's change the select sensitive to, let me just save this. Okay, execute that, smoothly running. Okay, the last bit is to actually export the data. Let's just uh, delete actually this cell. So to export the data, we need um, just to write the title so that we know what's going on here. So export the data to our Google Drive. And then I'll create a function called task, okay? And then I'll use ee batch to batch export, uh, and then export 
image to drive. And now create a bracket and actually I uh, need to open a curly bracket to enter my parameters for the export. Okay, so the first parameter is image. What's the image that I'm using to export? I need to provide that. So that's uh, the Landsat 8. I'll copy that, Landsat 8, and enter it here. And the next parameter that I'm using is a description. This will help you once you export, I will help you to, um, that means the name of the, the, the raster data that you're exporting. So just you, you provide a name, you know, that name um, will be something that you remember. So just try to make, to change this if you want to. Description. So the description is maybe um, image to drive L8, maybe Landsat 8, okay. So the next parameter is the next export parameter. Uh, I need to change this here. So the next parameter is a folder. Do you want to create a folder in your Google Drives? Yes. So maybe I'll just um, um, create example L8, Landsat 8. For example, data. Okay, that's my new folder. If you go to your Google Drive, that's what you will see once you execute the export. So you will create a folder, example data, and you will create a file. The exported Landsat file will have a name image to drive in your Google Drive, okay? And the next thing is to define the scale. That means the spatial resolution of the export since it's a Landsat data. Uh, uh, and then the bands have 30 meters plus resolution, so I'll adapt that. And the final parameter is a region. A region, that means the polygon that I've already created here. So what's, the, do you want to subset that data when you export? So what's that, that data? So I'll just um, copy this uh, um, rectangle uh, I've already created and um, get info. And then um, coordinates, okay? Right, coordinates. This will automatically grab the coordinate information from that, that uh, rectangle and then use that to export the data, okay? And the last thing we need to do is, so now we have written a function that does you know, um, export uh, the Landsat data. And now just uh, let's uh, start that task. Task start, that will be it. So that's our function to export our uh, Landsat image to our Google Drive. Let's save this and let's execute this. The data here, oh, okay. It was just uh, loading, so so you can see here the the image to drive L8. That's exactly the name that I've given it here in the script. You see, image to drive L8. That's the image that I'm creating, and the folder I created is example data, example example data here. So now we have successfully exported our uh, Landsat uh, image to our Google Drive.